past weekend, Disney held its D23 convention, basically a Disney-only Comic-Con. John and Mark were there and will share their thoughts on the conference a little later in the show. But one of the major pieces of news that came out from the convention was that Jurassic World director Colin Trevorrow has officially been announced as the director for Star Wars Episode Nine, set to be released in 2019. Trevorrow also previously directed the critically acclaimed indie film Safety Not Guaranteed in 2012. Mark, is Trevorrow a good choice to direct Star Wars Episode Nine? Absolutely, he's a good choice. What I'm going to do now is what in the business world you call a compliment sandwich. I'm going to t- say two <laughs> nice things about Colin Trevorrow. Then I'm going to throw just a little, a little tidbit in the middle in there. Is that bottom line is that Jurassic World was an awesome movie. It was a lot of fun. I loved watching that film. Now in the middle is that he chewed up so much scenery in Jurassic World that yes, we got we got brought back to the island, but I don't know that I know they're making a sequel. I don't know that there's a story in there that I really want to see for a sequel. That it took up so much space I'm not sure where else you go from here that is going to be plausible or believable or fun for the next Jurassic World movie but on top of that is that he's so good at working within the confines of an already existing franchise and he took a lot of flares from the original Jurassic Park that let us all feel nostalgia like we were back in 1993 so I think he's the right guy to do it and to close out a franchise as opposed to reinvigorating a franchise like what J.J. Abrams has tasked in front of him in episode 7 he's the right guy to be headline this trilogy and get and sending the Skywalkers off to a nice farewell. I have a, a, some mixed feelings, but mostly positive about it because I didn't think Jurassic World was fantastic, although I enjoyed it. I had fun watching it. But you got to keep in mind, too, how difficult is it to make a good Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World movie. It ain't easy because after the first one, they tried two other times. And I don't think Jurassic Park 2 or Jurassic Park 3 were terrible films, but it showed that it that original Jurassic Park is a tough concept to follow up with. Two great teams of filmmakers tried and didn't have fantastic results. Trevorrow comes along, though, and I think he topped number two and number three. Mm-hmm. I think he did what was already exhibited as being a very difficult thing to do, which is to make a good, solid, entertaining Jurassic World movie, and he did that. But let's look beyond Jurassic World. Safety not guaranteed. That showed what he can do as a storyteller, period. His pacing is terrific. The way he he mingles his actors together, the way he has them play off each other, he just knows how to do that stuff. And I remember when Kevin Feige was in studio and we were asking him, you know, hey, did you ever have any, you know, were you trepidatious at all about bringing on uh, Gunn Mm -hmm. to direct it since he's only done small films? And Feige said it best. He said, Good storyteller is a good storyteller. doesn't matter if it's a $10 million movie or $200 million movie. G- great words. So I would have preferred a Steven Spielberg. I would have preferred a- another name like that, a-, a little bit more of a venerable name coming in to take it, take it over. But this ain't bad. This is one of those names that I'll go, I'm on board. I'm on board, and I'm certainly on board with Trevorrow directing episode nine. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's only got two movies under his belt. I thought Jurassic World was really well directed. I mean, the problems that I had with it were script wise. I mean, just story story issues. But I thought he did a fantastic job, you know, merging all the CG with reality and like every the way it was directed was great. So to bring him into a franchise like you said, Mark, I think it makes sense to bring him in. So, you know, as long as the script is really good. I mean, that's all I really care about with the Star Wars film. Yeah, I mean, also, I mean, the, the way that you, you that you utilize effects, too, is going to be a huge task. But again, a lot of this stuff, he's going to have the groundwork laid for him from Episode 7 and Episode 8, so he can kind of take a cue from J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson. Right. And again, it's not like they're sending him out to uh, some desert like, like uh, you know, he's making another Mad Max movie. He's right. making Star Wars. There's going to be people in place that are going to be working with him on the ideas for that. So he can he's proven he can work in those confines because he worked closely with Spielberg on the story and Spielberg was an executive producer who wasn't meddling in the project once right. the camera started rolling but before that they had their story in place so I think he's the right guy as far as working with Lucasfilm. And, and didn't uh, isn't Ryan Johnson writing 8 and 9? He's writing both screenplays. That was the original word but then that got changed because I originally I had heard he was writing and directing right. 8 and 9 mm-hmm. then I heard well he's directing and eight, writing 8 right. just writing 9 and then I'm, now I'm not so sure about 9 
I mean, I love Ryan Johnson. I, that's another. I was kind of hoping to hear that he was going to do nine as well. But I do love that they're going back to kind of like the original film trilogy mm -hmm. formula of new director for every film. Yeah. I think that's one cool way to keep it. Fresh. And also look at the original trilogy with the new hope was just this new world we've never seen before. And JJ is great at doing that. OK. Right. And then you have Ryan Johnson coming in doing what might be the Empire Strikes Back of this, which is going to be a darker film. Right. And then Colin Trevorrow, who made Jurassic World, which is a celebration of all things Jurassic Park. Hopefully, episode nine will be like Return of the Jedi, which was a celebration of all things Star Wars and closes out nicely. So maybe that's the right call.